Um, I'm going to read a little bit from a novel in progress uh, that Laura mentioned called In Hunger. Um, I've been working on this for the last seven years, <clears throat> and it's almost done, maybe. And uh, it's, it's different for me. It's based on a portion of MFK Fisher's life. I don't know how many of you know her work. Um, everyone should know her work, of course. But uh, she was one of the first um, food writers, really, in, in the country, and kind of invented, in many ways, that idea of writing about appetites, not from the point of view of, of uh, a, a cook or a cookbook, but from um, the point of view of someone uh, as of an eater, of a person with appetites. And of course, her life was rife with every interpretation of that word. Um, the uh, portion that I'm going to read this evening is actually from the end of the book, uh, but it's, it's fairly self-contained and self-explanatory. I think the only thing you need to know is that um, her uh, ex-husband's name is Al, he's mentioned in the and Al Fisher, and the, um, it would be the last time they took the train to Milan. They had no reason to take it now, but these last times were what was left to them. Their the key was sold, their trinkets sorted, boxes packed. At the end of the week, they would take the Normandy to New York, and on to California, the new home they would buy in the desert, the whole of Europe, Europe slouching towards war. They spent money like it was paper now. They bought books and left them in cafes. They drank gimlets and good wines and ate whatever they pleased. Potato chips and beer for dinner, plates of fried minnows, sparkling and salt. They bought gifts for everyone they knew, vellum stationery and broad-nibbed pens, Italian paintbrushes, hats, perfume. They bought 14 months worth of analgeticum, each ampoule wrapped in cardboard comb and sleeve, nested like honeybees in the steamer trunk she pushed beneath the narrow bed at the hotel to walk around. When the analgeticum ran out, Tim would lose his other leg. They bought the drugs from Dr. Nest, and the only the analgeticum helped, not the cobra venom or bee stings, the careful diet or the mountain air, not morphine or whiskey or beating his head bloody against the hospital wall, and they only sold the analgeticum in Switzerland where the end of the world was coming soon. The full trunk beneath the bed became a kind of liquid calendar. They knew how it was going to go, had it all walked away. What was there to do but take the train once more to Milan? What was there to do but do the 